Robert Frada uh, was executed for the 1994 murder of Farrah Frada. He was the first person in the state of Texas to be executed this year. Uh, Frada did not make a last statement. He stared uh, straight ahead at the ceiling and did not acknowledge the victim's witnesses at all. A spiritual advisor was there, uh, held his hand and prayed as a lethal dose of pentobarbital was administered. And 24 minutes later, Frado was pronounced deceased at 7.49 p.m. tonight. Uh, I do have two individuals that are here uh, joining me. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce Harris County District Attorney uh, Kim Ogg, who'd like to say a few words. Good evening, I'm Kim Ogg, Harris County District Attorney. The death penalty is reserved for the worst in America. It is the government and society's highest punishment for the worst crimes. Robert Frada had his wife murdered to settle a divorce, something that millions of Americans go through. It was a premeditated crime. It involved two other people, a middleman and a shooter. And the victim, Farah Frada's life, was negotiated down to $1,000 and a car. For this, she was murdered. Robert and Farah had three children. One of them was here tonight. Frada never apologized. There was no question about his guilt. Two separate juries tried him, convicted him, and sentenced to death. And tonight, justice was had. Now I'd like to introduce uh, Andy Kahn with the uh, Harris County Crime Stoppers. Andy. Thank you. Andy Kahn, Director of Victim Services, Crime Stoppers of Houston. Make no mistake about it, today is a day for Farah and her family. This is not about Bob. Bob was a coward in 1994 when he arranged the murder for hire of his estranged wife. He was a coward in 1994, and 28 years plus later, he still was a coward tonight when he was offered an opportunity to at least extend an olive, olive branch to his son that he knew was watching this, as well as far as brother. And he still chose the coward's way out. He could have said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I've done. I'm sorry for being an egotistical, narcissistic, self-centered, you know what, that destroyed the lives of his beautiful wife that destroyed the hopes and dreams of three young children who were seven, six, and four at the time. Make no mistake about it, Bob Frada is the epitome of an atomic bomb, and he exploded in a family. And the reverberations and remnants of the actions of a narcissistic egomaniac play on for 28 years plus. I made a promise I got to know Farah's family rather well throughout their long and arduous journey to finally get here tonight. I'm, the, the only thing that really bothers me about tonight is that Lex far as father, father couldn't be here. Lex wasn't just an incredible human being. He was a member of Parents Who Murdered Children. He helped so many other families go through what his family, he and his wife Betty adopted three kids that were essentially left motherless and fatherless because of the actions 
of Bob. And they took on that giant task and raised them. So I just want to look up in the sky right now because I know Lex, and I know Lex rather well. And I can't probably say a few things that Lex is probably saying now, but I made him a promise when his health was failing that I would be here today. And I just want Lex to know that we honored your promise. And finally, we got justice for your be beautiful daughter, Farah. And always know that so many people in the Kingwood, Humble, and Harris County community deeply remembered Farah as a loving mother. And she'll forever be in our hearts that way tonight. So it's a difficult, emotionally draining, grueling night, as you can well imagine. But Bob Frada brought, the, brought this upon himself. And no one else is responsible for what happened here tonight, except for Bob. And knowing Bob, he would probably agree that, yeah, but I just can't admit it because that's just who I am, because the world revolves around me. And once again, he showed his true colors tonight. Thank you. You guys will take just a few questions if you have any. Otherwise, we're done. Do you have any update on the next speech they made to set the price down for the drink? Help me, Robert, I couldn't hear you. Do you have an update on the next I do not. Every single death penalty case and every single inmate who has received the death penalty and is here on death row gets their own day. Each case gets its own resolution. We look at everyone independently. I have no future dates, but I saw the pain on this family's face like I do on every family and we'll see that justice is done in all the cases.